Hey Heritage, Pastor Julian here. I just want to greet you in the name of Jesus and say that um, we've had a wonderful time with the Word of God on Sunday. I preached a message entitled Distinguishing Between the Secular and the Sacred, a look at Moses. Moses was a phenomenal man and uh, I wish I had the wherewithal to unpack some more of those principles with you, but on this coming Wednesday, we will suspend our normal Bible study because we're in the middle of vacation Bible school. I wanna take this moment to encourage you to come out to the church to be a part of these wonderful classes that are taking place here. Um, it's just great. Um, this idea though of distinguishing between the secular and the sacred is important for everyone who wants to be a follower of God. You cannot be so close to God if you don't want to uh, follow his instructions. God has instructions about how he wants us to live this life. And so um, with that said, I just want to invite your attention back over there to Exodus chapter 3. Read through that and you'll see that Moses had a journey and he made it. Well, on this coming Sunday, I'm praying about um, another installment um, toward this idea of distinguishing between the secular and the sacred. Um, in the meantime, there are a few things that we do need at the church. One of them is we need um, some people who are willing to be a part of our transportation ministry. Don't have to be a man, don't have to be a CDL driver with a big 18 wheeler. What you need to be is available. <laughs> That's a funny way to say that, but if you're available, we have some older members and a few um, members who are struggling a little bit but need transportation to get to church. They want to worship with us and we want to do everything we can to make that available to them. So if you will call the office to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm interested in that. That's the one thing I can do. I'll give a Sunday out of the month to make myself available. We would love to have you to be a part of that. And um, on August the 6th, I'm calling all men. August the 6th, we're going to just have a breakfast and a table talk. That's what I want to talk to you about. Just some table talk, man to man, um, to see where we are in our journey with God and, um, and to walk this out in a way that will be pleasing in his sight. I will be buying breakfast for everybody um, so you know there will not be fried chicken at breakfast <laughs> as much as I like it, but uh, we will have a nice breakfast for you. We will be open for breakfast starting at 8.30 on the 6th of August, but um, we will officially start around 9 or something like that. So please come be with me on August the 6th. Well, with that said, I want to say I love you in the Lord, praying for you, fighting for you and your families, and uh, we'll catch up soon. God bless you. Take care.